Good day, everybody. I'm sure you have heard about the changes that's supposed to be effective today, and that is <clears throat> PCR test and antigen test is no longer required if you have one booster shot. The question is, what happened to OHP? One health pass. We'll talk about it. Stay with me. As you know, not everybody already had a booster shot. And if you had a boost, if you did not have a booster shot, you will be required to go for a test. Antigen test within 24 hours of your departure or PCR test within 40 out, 48 hours of your departure. <clears throat> so it's only those people. It doesn't matter if you're a foreigner, Filipino citizen, Balik Bayan, it doesn't matter if you had at least one booster shot, you will no longer be required any testing whatsoever. Now, as you know, the second booster shot is now available, has been available. So some people may have already had two booster shots. And the first two shots that you took are the so-called initial vaccine. First shot, two shot, and in some cases, like I think it's Johnson & Johnson, you only need one shot and you're already fully vaccinated. Those are the vaccination. The shot is going to be the third. And then lately, there has been a fourth shot available. In fact, <laughs> some clinics have been inviting me for the fourth shot. I'm not prepared yet to take the fourth shot. I think I'll take that just before I leave the Philippines. And just for my own protection and who knows, maybe by that time, uh, two booster shots will be required. Doesn't matter. Now the question is, how is this going to affect One Health Pass when you are still required to upload your vaccine? Well, no big deal, guys. I just heard today that they did not make a significant change in the One Health Pass, you still go ahead and complete that. It's still required, required, required One Health Pass registration. And you will be asked to upload your first and second vaccine if it requires a second vaccine to be fully vaccinated. So even those who had a booster shot will be required to upload those. And there is no one that I'm aware of who had a booster shot but never had the first and the second shot. Like what I said, if it's Johnson & Johnson, only one shot for you to be fully vaccinated. Others usually require two vaccines. Now, if you have been boosted, you have those two shots, so you will upload those. Here is the change. There is a question there. It says, do you have a negative PCR test or antigen test? Check. No. Don't be afraid because you are entitled to it, meaning no PCR test, if you had a booster shot. So say no. And I don't know if the people in the Philippines are still reviewing these things because there is going to be a manual check to see if you had a booster shot. So don't check no and then go to the Philippines without any card evidencing your booster shot because that will be manually checked. It's not going to be in the computer. And I don't know if it will be checked by the airlines or if it will be checked by the immigration officer at the border. Uh, but all I'm saying is bring everything with you, the two shot and the booster shot cards, if you have a booster shot that is, bring everything with you so when asked you have something to present. And for those people who do not have a booster shot, upload your PCR or antigen test and also bring a hard copy with you just to be sure. Now after you register, you will be given a barcode. barcode. That is all you need to board. 
And that is all you need to enter the Philippines. So just go ahead and complete that. I did not go through the process of, gee, you enter your name here, your address here. It's so easy. Just go to onehealthpass.com. Okay, onehealthpass.com. And you will see this yellow registration. As I mentioned before, there are some a fake website there that's going to charge you some amount of money just to do the same thing you could have done on this website. So go through this website, there is no charge and you should be good to go once you get the barcode and you'll be able to get the barcode as soon as you register. No, no reason to wait for anything else. So guys, I hope you share this with other people and uh, just enjoy your trip to the Philippines. Now, I feel bad for the people who used to be checking this thing. Do you have this? Do you have that? Are you entitled to this? Are you entitled to that? Now they don't have a job. But don't worry. It's the Philippines. They'll guarantee the job. They'll be assigned somewhere else. But it's much better now because it makes it a lot easier. It will be even easier if everybody will be entitled to this instead of just those who has a booster shot. And uh, if they eliminate this one health pass altogether completely and go back to the paper form of filling out some information and check in at the border. But we're getting there. I just hope Philippines does not get back to this old way of doing things. Now that there are, now I, what, what is it called? It's monkey pox. I don't know what, what's ever going to happen to that, but it's not as bad as uh, uh, Omicron, uh, the uh, uh, coronavirus. So I think, we'll be, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good as long as this thing does not get any worse than what it already, already is. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Again, this is a very short video just to let you know. Come down and fill out the same form. And when you're asked the question, do you have a negative PCR test? Just say no because you never had a test. And this is for people with boosters yet. And just bring all the documents with you. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. And I'll appreciate if you click like and if you subscribe to my channel. God bless. Make it a great day.